As a nation, we are living longer and this is something to be celebrated. But as we get older, we often develop multiple conditions. This means we need lots of different services to support our care. Because of a lack of integration among services for older people, A&E often has to pick up the pieces when things go wrong. Urgent care services are already struggling to cope with big increases in demand without this extra strain. And hospital is not always the right place for an older person needing care. If suitable alternative services were available, older people wouldn't need to be readmitted so often. At the end of January 2015, the number of people still in hospital who could have received their care in or closer to their home was at its highest point in nearly five years. We need to do more to make sure older people get the right care in the right place to meet their needs. Lots of research has already been done on improving urgent care for older people. There are good examples of care happening up and down the country. But different parts of the system aren't working together as effectively as they could. As health and care leaders, we need to make them work better for everyone. This includes patients, carers, families and NHS staff. Because if we don't take action, we'll have a crisis on our hands. At the NHS Confederation, we are the only body representing all the different healthcare organisations. We are bringing together a wide range of experts to find practical solutions to address this growing problem. We want to develop recommendations that will be supported and implemented locally. Help support our commission on improving urgent care for older people. Get involved and find out more by visiting www.nhsconfed.org forward slash commission. Together, we can build a better service for everyone and prevent a crisis in urgent care.